So now, we are going to talk about metals. As you know, metals are natural materials and we can get the natural materials from the natural sources. So the question now is, which natural sources that give us metals? Yes, the rocks. The rocks are the natural sources that give us metals. Metals are the only natural materials we can get from the rocks. There are different examples on metals as we have here gold, silver, iron, copper, and steel. Metals usually look so shiny. Okay. We use metals in making different objects as nails, coins, can, jewelry, key and look, paper clips, spoon, fork, and knife. Here, the first metal with us today is gold. Wow, the gold, we can shape the gold into a very different, beautiful shapes. The gold is so expensive. We can make the jewelry as ring, necklace, earring. But now, how can I shape the gold? It's so hard to shape it, yes? Here, a piece of gold, a raw gold here. He will turn it into a very beautiful ring. He will expose it into a very high temperature. But don't you try it for yourself? There are special people who know how to deal with it. Yeah, can you see here the fire? It's easy now for shape it. And finally, this very beautiful ring. Yes, so we can make a different shapes from the gold. Aluminium. Aluminium is a silver color. Yes, the aluminium products as can, cooking pots, spoon, fork, and knife. What can you see? Yes, it's all products that we use when you eat. Can, you can put your water in these cans. Cooking pots, you can cook inside it. The spoon, fork, knife that you eat with them. Here, a very important aluminum products is aluminum foil. We use this foil to preserve our food. And it has a very many different uses. Yeah, here I share with you a life hack you can do. If your alarmer doesn't work, what should you do? You will boot the batteries. Okay, now I will boot the batteries. What if the batteries is so small? Yes. What can I do now? I will use aluminum foil. As you can see here, cover it, cover the battery. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now it's working. Wow. Tell me if you use it. The next one is copper. Do you know why uh, your charger, your mobile phone charger, your laptop charger? Yes, you can see the wires, your television uh, wire. Yes, that you put it into the electricity. The copper is a good electricity conductor. So here I have wire, different wires here. The outer layer here, the black one is plastic. 
and here the green and yellow blue is a plastic that I can hold it. It's so easy from the plastic part, but I cannot touch the copper inside it. Here is the copper. The copper color is orange, as you can see here. If you peel it out, you can see the copper inside each wire. Let's see together. Mm -hmm. What is copper here? So we'll cut it. Yes, this part is copper that he twisted. Yes. Can you see this? Again, teach us how to deal with wires. Yes, this port is copper. The copper is an electricity conductor. Don't try to touch it by yourself, okay? It's so dangerous uh, because it's electricity conductor. So we can use the copper for making wires, for charge your mobile, charge your lab, uh, uh, watching the TV, when you put it in the electricity. So the copper inside each wire that you have. The next metal is lead. Do you know that your pencil is made of lead? Yes, this part that we write with it. It's a so soft metal, so we can write and draw with it. And like this beautiful drawing. So the lead is a gray color, has a gray color. It's so soft, you can write it and draw it and do what you want. The last metal is iron. Iron is so strong, hard, rigid material. We can make a heavy and big product from the iron. As you can see, bridges, cars, doors, big doors, towers, and big buildings. Yes, any heavy, big products as buildings, cars, plants, or blades are made of iron. The iron is so heavy, rigid, hard material. Thank you guys.